What's going on, Mad Nation? I'm S. Gibbs. We got Z Farls. We have the Hoop God. God in the house? Uh, Hoop God is in the house. And we also have the man with the legend, Muck Guru. How you guys doing today? Our second Muck cast. What's going on? Brah, brah. <laughs> Thanks, Hoop God. Thank you. I'm sure you're going to be a fan favorite, Hoop God. Mike, how's it going? Hey, man. What's going on? How are, you, how are you been after this weekend? Everyone just hit me up about all the questions about everything with the sets. Black if, Friday, I had, if I had a Blitz ticket for every time I got asked how many Blitz tickets a night train lane would cost, I would be able to afford at least four night trains. Okay, that's good. Farls, you need to take your uh, your controller here, your paddle. Uh, is that good? Is it working? No. Mm. Okay. How you doing, man? Uh, so, here, you're going to have to just sit up here if you need it. Um, so first things first guys, we're, the big news th today and this week has obviously been Night Train Lane. Uh, that's the first guy we're going to discuss today, the first legend. Last week we talked a lot about Zach Thomas and kind of what he brings to the table. This week we're talking no other than 97 overall cornerback Night Train Lane. So, um, with, there's something special, end of the, end of the stream, Guru. Rumor has it we're giving away a Night Train Lane. So, what we're going to do is we're going to put him up on the Xbox One trade block for you right now. You're going to have the opportunity, easy you guys at work and at school right now. Don't worry, we're going to take care of you guys. It's going to be up on the trade block. What we want you to do is go out, get yourself a silver Johnny Manziel. Even though Mike Patton doesn't think there's much worth to Johnny Manziel, we're going to give him some on the auction house tonight because we're going to have you get him, offer him on this dick, this dick lane, and we will accept that trade. What do we say tonight? 6 p.m. tonight? 6 p.m. 6 p.m. Okay, so, so the people yeah. that will catch you on YouTube and stuff will be able to hear it as well. Yep. Good deal. So at random, we'll uh, accept one of those Johnnies, and uh, Night Train could be yours. All right. That's awesome. So first things first, as we're taking a look at this Night Train lane, uh, can you tell a little bit how you actually are trying to achieve him if you're not going to go get him off the auction block, Mike? Absolutely. You still have the opportunity to go grab Dick Lane until December 11th. His set is moved this morning. Don't freak out. He's not under the Black Friday sets anymore. It's over under the Redemption set, so pro tip there. We'll be there until December 11th. It'll take you 200 Blitz tickets to get him. Um, don't be, don't be, uh, don't lose hope if you don't have enough blitz tickets. I'll put it say, that way. Okay, so. Poor Jo had like 193 blitz tickets, no. and he's like, I want to get silver leaves, but those are real expensive right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Naturally, and he's like, Do I get pro packs? They're in some pro pack. I, he was like freaking out, and I'm like, Oh so man. So what I can say is those are you can quick sell those now. Be careful, don't do that yet. Okay, so hold on. That's all the information I can give you as of right now. All right, so we take a look at what Night Train Lane is going for on Auction House. This is Xbox One, 900,000 coins. Is that is that a fair price for this Night Train Lane? Yeah, I mean, what's the Deion Sanders currently going for? Roughly in the same area. Right. Um, I think the Night Train, with zone coverage and his ability to play every position, plus be much better in the run game, he has the hip power, has the hands, kind of two really underrated things at corner. It's pretty big, plenty of speed. If you play zone coverage, this is your guy. If you need a slot CB and you have one of the better teams out there, he's your guy because he can tackle and he can lay the hammer. I've already seen – he's only been out for, you know, under 24 hours. I've already seen fumble hit stick touchdown yeah. On, oh, YouTube, yeah. on Twitter, YouTube. Yeah. So right now, Barry Sanders, quick number crunch, 2.2 million coins on Xbox One. So Night Train Lane seems like a bargain at 900,000. You almost think that this Night Train is – better when you look at some of his stats for a corner yeah no corner really exists right here so you can see our five key stats that we have for night train lane 95 speed 99 hit power 94 man coverage 99 zone coverage and 91 press uh so night train lane in terms of a corner uh he might lack some of that actual like top end coverage for man to man but his hit power kind of separates him you know what do you what are your thoughts on the Night Train Lane Guru? So I use I've always used Night Train Lane a couple of different ways. First of all, as a run stopper, as a, as a corner blitz guy, right? Because he is your tackling beast. He has that hit power. He's got the tackle stats. So he's going to be uh, useful against those those sweeps, those outside pitches. You're going to be able to bring a cornerback uh, blitz and really uh, bring that hammer to those guys that keep hitting you on the outside. The other way is I'm usually a don't run out of position guy. Yep. I don't like running players out of position, but Dick Lane currently is, in my belief, is the best strong safety 
in the game right now. You put him back at strong safety, he turns into a 98 overall. He's got the zone coverage to lock it down when you're not using him. 99 zone coverage. But then when you are, he's got the height, he's got the speed, he's got the hit power for him to be a user animal. Yeah, I think what you do with the combination of Taylor and Night Train, you kind of got two hammers now yeah. in this game at the similar time in the season. So you got Sean Taylor, you've got uh, Night Train Lane. I'm going to hopefully get both get one in the big dime at corner Yep. because they play man, but then you can always blitz him. He's going to be good in the run game. Taylor can stay off the edge. The three three five odd in the Patriots book, we talk about it. You're going to want that edge defender blitzing, so you've got the hip power. Then you have... Uh, you know, you mix up Taylor, mix up Lane, mix up Dawkins, those three guys, it doesn't really matter what you do with the lane because he can do it all. Yep. So so when you look at the lane stats here, a lot of people want to user him because of his 95 speed and then the 99 hit power. Do you lose out on, you know, do you lose out on using a lesser player to get a bigger advantage for your team and just let Lane kind of go organic? Because he's going to play like a stud just because of his 99. Yeah, you zone don't want to like, use him. A lot of people want to I do. because they I see that do, speed. Though. Yeah. I do, and the thing is, you, you don't have to because of that 99 zone coverage. You know, you can leave him at safety and not use him, and, and he, he's not going to be a liability for you back there. I think the 90 play rec means you don't use him. You, unless you have a, an amazing team, You this is a guy that's going to play fine on his own. He, yep. we got to test him and see if he gets CPU hit sticks. Currently, for me... Uh, Brian Dawkins is not computer laying hit sticks, so I've got to click on the Dawkins to make tackles. If Lane's yep. able to get computer hit sticks, well, then I don't want to use him. I'm using Taylor right now to try and take advantage of his size and his a little bit weaker in zone coverage. So I feel like I need to get that Sean Taylor and make him better. Whereas Nitrine, I think, is going to be good enough on his own. It would it w he would be fun to use her. He'd be great to use her. Sure, but I think. You can make other players like Shazier, like Telvin Smith, uh, bar so much better by using them that the boost you get from using Lane, you make him a little bit better, but he's already so good. Agreed. I wouldn't. Agreed, um, man. That's so good. the stamp of approval, here we go. Farles is Nitrate Lane the best cornerback in Madden 16 right now, Madden Ultimate Team? If you want to play zone coverage, <laughs> yes. I will say that the Deion Sanders is very, very remarkable. The one thing I've noticed about the Deion Sanders is he has been missing some tackles for me. So while he can do everything and he's never really going to get beat by just a random route, like they're going to have to do stuff to beat Deion. There's been a couple situations where he's missed some tackles and it's it's hurt uh, the defense. So Night Train, if you're all zone and you want a little bit better tackling, is better than Deion, I would say. Guru? I think just as far as it goes, high level, best cornerback in the game, not going to get up there with uh, with prime time, in my opinion. Yeah. Because he's just got those gamut of stats, top to bottom. Uh, like Farrell says, he's missing some tackles, but, you know, most of us aren't depending on our cornerback to make right. tackles, right? right? So, you know, Night Train is very situational, I think. He's going to be that guy that you blitz off the edge for a run and help bring up for a run stuff. Best slot CB like in that, the game by a mile. Yeah, yeah ab, ab, there you go. Now that yeah. that's where I'd run it. Yeah. But as my number one corner, I'm still having, still have prime time out there. All right, you guys heard it first. The review of Night Train Lane. Yes, nine hundred thousand coins seems to be a bargain for that Night Train Lane right now. When you what, compare so him to the Sanders, Guru, your thoughts on Lane's price potentially going up or down? Obviously, most players in mud over time, their price generally goes down. Yep. With Lane, his set is still up, but do you think a lot of people? Got the blitz tickets, maybe don't want the lane, try to cash in on them right away when they got them. Yep. And now, once I read a tweet that was like, once he gets stuck on teams of people that actually want him, want him. Right. He, he won't be as many on the market, his price will go back up. Do you think he's going to go up or down if you had to guess? So right now I think he's going to fluctuate pretty... Um not too much, like right now, for for at least the next, at least till December 11th, we're gonna see a pretty constant price with him because people have done more than one set, right? You were able to yeah. do more than one night train, so you got one for yourself, you got one to sell. So there's a lot of people out there. People do uh, that, absolutely. People are oh, amazing. Oh, absolutely. It's no, there are people have foresight. I, to, I was away on Thursday and Friday, and blitz tickets were coming out, and these sets were coming out, and I was reading blast door tweets, and I was trying to follow the tweets and the blogs, and I was like. Someone's going to have all these blitz tickets. And then when I got back, I had like 21 blitz tickets. And I was like, all right, 
And then I went on, and it was like, all right, 80 blitz tackles. Like, yeah, not, not going to happen. Like, uh, right. me, and then I saw it, and I'm like, everybody has me and Joe Green. Everyone's like, oh, me and Joe Green. I got 16 of them. I'm I like, feel like everyone has Night Train Lane. Yeah. I saw Ropey just chilling. Oh, I got him. I saw yeah. JL's going yeah, for him. Got Zan's him. got him. Yeah. I, everyone in the chat. I just feel like not everyone obviously has him, but I feel like a lot of people that people for a, that pay such a good player and were able to get him. this show last week and right. knew kind of us, like, we mentioned blitz tickets were going to be something to keep an eye out for last yep. week on the yep. show. Yeah, I think I think I might have the I know yeah. matter way that why that is. There was some information got out there last week, and it was passed around on this Twitter airwaves a little bit. So I saw some people kind of but kind everyone of had signatures a bit was coming. Too, though. But I, yeah, those were Dude, the people two pulled like right four there. signatures. People Six, are like, oh my god, this guy, this Lane. guy, Levy on. I'm like. Packets are hot. Those Signatures? are the ones, man. Those hot, are the two hot, ones. Hot packets. How did they know, though? Hot packets. I don't know. But we're going to move on here, guys, to our next uh, team of the week uh, this year. Our team of the week this players week. came out this week, uh, yesterday. Yeah. Yep. So we have some hot players. Uh, the first guy up on our list here is Luke Keekley, uh, 93 overall middle linebacker. I know a lot of people love when a Keekley uh, yep. item comes out just because of his high zone coverage ratings and speed. Well overdue for an update. So we take a look at what he has here. 294,000 coins going for on the Xbox One. Some of his stats here. 87 speed, 99 pursuit, 97 tackle, 96 play recognition, and 85 zone coverage. Before we start talking about him, guys, if you're watching the, the the, the show in Twitch. Make sure to follow the channel. To our YouTube guys, subscribe to the channel. And iTunes guys in the future, this is coming to iTunes. We have it all submitted. It's going to be getting set up hopefully here in the next 24 hours. Uh, but let's now get into the nuts and bolts. five-star review on iTunes. We I need the five-star review. That's like the here's, the, here's what we're going to do. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to read five-star reviews on the show Ooh. and give you a little love if you give us give the five-star review. I like it. That's only if you love the show. Only if you love the show, you love the cast of characters, you love the hoop god. Bang, 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 bang. He's in the background here. Weird. And you, if you love the beard, if you love the beard, give the, uh, the show uh, a follow. So, right. Thank you, thank you. Now, as we take a look at this Keekly, first things first, 294,000 coins. What, what, do we, what do we think about that for this Keekly? I think it's a reasonable price. So what I like about Keekly is last season... His 95 that you got for the style rewards yep. was like yep. the best middle Absolutely. linebacker in the game for the, yep. a super long time. And so you could put put him in, plug him in, set it, and forget it. Luke yep. Keekley, zone coverage across the middle. This Luke Keekley, super balanced. I think if you want that guy that does it all, he is available for you. If you want a little bit better run game, there's better options out there at a similar price. If you want a little bit better zone coverage, there's some better options out there. But Luke does both more balanced than either of those ends. Yep. So uh, a guy I had tweeted about was 88, Team of the Week, Levante David. Not as strong, not as good block shed, but a little bit better zone. They both have 99 pursuit. Um, but then you look at like Zach Thomas we talked about a lot about last week. Yep. He's a little stronger, a little better block shed. They're the same speed, but Luke's got a little bit better coverage stat. So you got to tailor your defense to exactly what you want. Luke's going to be fine all across the yep. board. If you get him, don't use him. Just let him be. He's 6'3". Love what he brings to the table. Um, you'd be happy to have this guy in your lineup, and he's getting to a reasonable cost. Guru? So I'm going to drop some old-school knowledge. On Love you guys it. Right Need it. Okay, so they, as I call them, the mutt gods. Okay, so reminiscent of the hoop god but anyway there are these guys right there are these players that no matter what their stats are they've always been good in mutt yes uh, guys like drc right okay stud. he's always been good in mutt no matter clay what matthews. what tier he is clay matthews always been a stud steven jackson no matter what always a solid halfback right always uh through mutt 11 12 13 Keekly is one of those guys, right? Ever since his rising star back in 2013, okay, where you're able to get him, and he was a rookie, he's had similar stats with the tackling, the pursuit, the speed, and the play rec. He's had all four of those things in every rendition I've ever seen of Luke. Ke uh, of Luke. So, um, my my personal favorite, Football Outsiders Limited Edition, two years ago. I don't know if you guys remember that one. My 25. Limited edition football outsiders, Keekly. He is one of those guys you can always depend on. Uh, I like him to stop the run personally because of those four stats. Yeah, the play rec's enormous. I'm just yeah. thinking, you might have. I mean, 88 block shots um, is very, very, very right. good. Yep. I'm saying you could get, you could go a plus 90s with it, but 
I always find his first all. step is super fast, right? And that's the correct step. That's it, right? Yeah, exactly. It's the right. correct step always. He never really messes up. And he's six three, so he gets yeah. that fanatical jump once in a while. Get that pick right. Underrated stat right there well. is that he is six three. It's a very underrated uh, uh, rating there for Keekly. Uh, I'm gonna say I'm not loving the price for this Keekly right now. I'm not loving that it's two hundred ninety four thousand coins mm -hmm. for what I'm getting. I do love me some Keekly. I think yep. I think he's one of the better kind of zone players, set it and forget it type players. But my concern is for you know around three hundred thousand coins, uh, I can go out and get a guy like Flashback Alden Smith, who's three seventy. Yes, you're gonna have to fork over another <laughs> seventy thousand mm -hmm. coins. But when you take a look at this Alden Smith, this Flashback, so he's a little slower at 80, uh, 84 speed. But he he's that player that I'm so uh, high on when it gets to this part of the season that it does like multiple things really well. Like right. the Keekly is really good as a set and forget a player. Not the best overall in terms of stopping the run, in terms of his block shed, uh, and also in terms of like hit power uh, and in his strength. So that's my concern with Keekly is how is he going to hold up in the run game. I also think 85 zone coverage right now for that Keekly, like for a 93 overall team of the week, I want that zone coverage to be at least in the 90, yeah. at, at 90. So that's my concern with this Keekly card uh, for, for 300,000 coins. It, w it bothers me a little bit because I think I can go out and get uh, better value maybe with Levante David. I could get some better value yeah. with a previous Keekly item. Yeah, yeah. I even think based off of the game, he had the two interceptions. You know, right. I, I, sitting in a, sitting back in his zone. So I think it's appropriate for that to be a little bit higher. But maybe uh, we'll catch that. Like you say, there's there's other options. No, out no, no. It, price, it, it, I'm not I'm not saying that the zone like I'm not saying on this item that like he he should have <laughs> higher. So I'm saying looking at it and saying. Compared. For three hundred thousand coins, compared to what else sure. is out there, that eighty-five zone concerns me with this item. I think I could get better value elsewhere. Maybe go get that Alden Smith, yeah. just as a, as a guy that can do everything for me uh, in in certain situations. This Kiko stacks up pretty nice. I don't know what his Bro, that his Kiko. cost is. Oh. I thought he's a little too slow, yeah. but he's the same height and he's, he matches him in every category. So Correct. His, that's the, that's his, the why you, you go out and get a Kiko instead. Yeah. But. His price was up there, though, guys. Yeah, the, he's the very Kiko expensive. was up there. I'm not sure where yeah. he's sitting right now after the uh, the throwback pack came out for Black Friday. But I, so I'm sure his price came down a little bit. But that is a sawed-after linebacker right there, that Kiko. All right, guys, stamp of, of approval time. The Luke Keekly Team of the Week, 93 <clears throat> overall middle linebacker, going for roughly 300,000 coins right now. Z Farls, what do you think? Is is he? I'm not going to ask. Is he the best linebacker in the game? Because we know he's not. But is he a guy you need to target and you need to have on your team? Yes. If he gets down to 250 and you need a linebacker who you can be confident in not using and you play a lot of hook zones over the middle of the field, you're not super comfortable on pass commit, run commit, all that jazz. You just want him to kind of read and react. He is your guy. You're almost never going to be mad at Keekly. Like he'll just kind of surprise and delight you. Yeah, yeah. And you can just kind of leave him there. That's to me the mark of a very good player is if I drop Keekly in a flat zone to stop a flat throw and he, he gets there and picks it, then you could do that with Shazier because you're telling him to go on a flat zone. But if Keekly just kind of randomly goes and grabs one for you without you putting him on that assignment, well then yeah. that's where like I said, because you can only use your one guy, you need these guys to kind of start making plays on their own. And Keekley's the guy that last year for me, I'd like to test this one, see if he can make some plays. For All right, me. Guru. Yep. Okay, now now this is kind of a strange one because I always want a Keekley on my team, but there are other options out there for for my team. I have Zach Thomas, I have Bowman. I'm running right now at middle linebacker, but I want to have a Keekley in there. I've always leaned on him, so I'm I'm playing around with him at left outside linebacker. You know, I've already broke the seal with the Dick Lane here, so. Uh, gonna try Keekly out at left side, outside linebacker, him and Kiko. See how they're working. So uh, the jury's still out on this Keekly right now. All right. So next up on our list, another team of the week item for this week, the 93 overall quarterback, Russell Wilson. It's going for 220,000 coins on the market right now. So first thing we always talk about is the coins. How do we feel about that coin price for this Russell Wilson? I mean, Russ does it all for you. He's got he's got a little bit of everything. He's got some. He's got the reliable um, throw power. You know, he's got the good speed. He's got decent uh, short throw. 
Uh, his mid throw could be a little bit better, but the thing is the full package, right? Is that you've got a lot of quarterbacks that just uh, specialize in either scrambling or in a po- in their pocket presence. Russell does both things uh, really well. Also, the thing is, if you missed out on his BCA item yep. the first time around, which was a limited edition item, this is another chance for you to go out and get uh, yourself uh, Danger Russell. All right, so as we break into some of the stats here, you can see 90 speed, 94 throw power, 87 throw accuracy short, 90 throw accuracy medium and 88 throw accuracy deep. Farls, talk to me a little bit about what those stats are. Do you see anything that, that concerns you uh, and yeah. what excites you about this Russell? Unfortunately, I have some concerns with the Hustle Wilson. I'm a huge Danger Russ fan. I loved him last season. When I started playing the game this year, the number one thing I noticed in practice mode where the ratings are different was Russell Wilson specifically was just overthrowing a lot of passes. I, yep, and I, I thought, like, that. is this a me problem? Is this probably a you is problem? Is this a game problem? <laughs> Most like, likely a you problem. I couldn't figure it out. Like, am I doing something wrong? And this was, you know, he obviously, I think he had like, he was in the 70s for deep accuracy. But I want, and if RG was here, I'd ask him to elaborate a little bit more about how important 90 throw short accuracy is. So RG, if he was here, he would tell Shout you... Shout out to RG at home, sick today, not feeling Shout well. Shout out to the RG. Well, well wishes from all of us. He would tell you how important 90 throw short is because you cannot have players miss flat passes because that's one of the best ways to attack the defense in the game. It's one of the most important routes. And Randall Cunningham does it sometimes. He just airmails a short throw and it costs you 12 yards where you had the right read. So... The Russell there concerns me. What I do like is his acceleration and agility are pretty good with the 90 speed. He's going to feel pretty fast. But Mm -hmm. I want to see him get the 90 deep. I want to see him get the 90 short. I thought after his BCA, this might get him to that level. I think there's better options out there Um, for the coin. Absolutely. Here's the, here's Guru, the what, thing, what are your thoughts on this, Russell? La- last thought on this, Russell, is he might not be your st- your starter. He might not be your quarterback moving forward, but you might need him for your dual style challenges. Okay, so Ooh, that's okay. another important tip. Fly it in. Step ahead. Fly so, it in. Fly it in, kid. So go out and grab him, resell him if you need to, but he's going to help you get to your uh, to your mangled. Yeah, so for 220,000 coins right now, I think you can find better options. I think that this Wilson, let's revisit him in you know four weeks, a month, six weeks. Take a look at what he drops to. I think you're going to find him probably in the maybe 80K range, similar to the 88 Mariota. I think personally that this 88 Mariota is a better option if you are if you guys are at home like, I want the Russell, yep. but he's too much for, my, uh, for what I have in terms of coins. Go look at the 88 Mariota. Go look at the 85 Mariota, who's a lot cheaper in terms of coins, and you're going to have a very similar player. We'll talk about this later in the show with one of the questions we had comparing the Mariota to Russell Wilson, yeah. so uh, I still, I mean, I still think the Russell's good. He's good. I feel, he's I feel good. Bad trashing him because we're not trashing him. He's good, but we're we're looking at the value of the coins that you're going to spend on him. Like, yeah. if he was fifty thousand coins, must buy. Absolutely yeah. correct. Yeah. I mean, we all agree. If he was a hundred thousand coins, must buy. What does any? What does? What did McNabb settle in at for coins? Because he's sure I can take a look. There's a lot of I can like do a quick number crunch. McNabb's out there. Yep. In nature, because yeah. mm-hmm. uh, he was in, he was in some well, of the, the toppers. Well, he was a set, and the topper, right, was the guaranteed right. collectible as I can, well. For I can him, do a so. quick number crunch on the McNabb. He's two eleven. Two eleven. So he's one of the more polarizing guys in Mutt right now. I think his stats on paper, he lines up with the Wilson pretty well. I think he's got a little more throw power, which I like. And that height, though, and, he's just a stud. And though. he he's gets 6'3". there, but people don't. They say his release is slow. It's kind of a. I can attest to it's that. It's kind of a like. <laughs> uh, preference. Mm-hmm. I mean, obviously, you'd like to have it faster no matter what, but yep. I haven't felt it a ton. Um, so McNabb, at the same cost, uh, give me McNabb slightly over the Russell for now. Until I, and you know, you gotta, sure. you gotta see. Alright, next up on our list, uh, we have for teams of, Team of the Weeks, uh, we are going with the George Aloka. Yes. 87 yes. overall, strong safety, Going for 61,000 coins on the market right now. Hey, man, I um, think this is a good buy. I mean, yeah. 31,000 coins for a six, six four, foot right? four safety. Um, I don't think we even need to discuss is the 31,000 coins worth it right now for him on Xbox One. Get right into his stats. Six foot four, 88 speed, 87 power, 94 zone coverage, 88 press. 
first things first here is you're not really taken away by those stats. Yep. But when you start thinking that he's six foot four, has 94 zone coverage, if you have him do one specific thing is throw him back at strong safety, maybe consider using him, he now immediately becomes like one of the better players in the game. Farles, what do you think of this George? Yeah, I mean, he's a guy you want to get in on two-man interactions with that 94 zone rating to hopefully break up, uh, increase your breakup chance. He's a little slow. That's slightly concerning to me. I love the height. I think maybe you go with like a dollar, put him in, kind of drop him down into the slot, have him play zone coverage across the middle. Then you get the height. Then you get the zone. I don't want to see him run deep against some of the faster Amari Cooper. Yeah. yeah. My, same Mike Adams syndrome, that's what I call it. 90 Mike Adams, 86 speed, gets ran by a lot, even though he has pretty high zone coverage. 84 player X, not great. Would like to see the hit power a little higher. Pursuit, you're going to have to user him. But that is an elite 94 zone rating. So you got to get him in situations to use that. And yeah. elite height. Yeah, that's the thing. What does that right? get you? As a great user player. As a user player, yes. yes Correct. Exactly. Yes. Right. But now we're user in Night Train. Now Not user, user in Aloka. No, no. Now for for so he's like great choices. You got a lot of guys to use her. So well, you can, but the problem is you can only use her one. So you True. need to figure out who can I get the most value out but of. But what I her. like is that you, I mean, with that ninety four zone, you, you, if you have to pick somebody else once in a while, he can still be left back there, and he still I think has that elite zone yeah. presence where he can make a play back there. The play rec's not the best, not something to lean on. But again, you know, if you have to switch off of him, you still got ninety four zone you can depend on. I mean, I think for thirty one thousand coins, this is a no brainer. This is a guy that, if he's not going to start on your team, say because of those, some of those concerns we talked about. He's a guy you get for situational spots. Um, you know, maybe end of game, end of game, middle right. of the field, user, right? Three deep, correct. He's great guy to have. Good. He's good zone coverage for thirty-one thousand coins. He's he's a guy that you can probably you know feel like you can go get him. He's going to play well for you, and you're not going to feel too bad because you're not spending too much coin yep. on him. And his, his, his price is probably going to drop if you if you wanted to wait a couple yep. weeks. His yep. price is going to drop maybe to the you know, 15, 10K range. So um, my approval on this is yes on the Aloka. Let's remember, though, you have to get this guy if you want your uh, your uh, Russell Wilson. True. Okay? So, I mean, yep. that's the other thing to consider. 31K, going in, it's like, that's the other thing you got to think of. How much are these guys going for? How much is Russ going for? Is it going to be worth it for you to put that set together? What are you using Russ for as your player, as just somebody you're getting the style boost for? You know, a lot of things to think about. If you're the type of player whose lineup in this season is going to benefit a lot from Aloka at strong safety, I don't think you can pay 31 stacks for him. I think you just get the base. I bet he's under 10. Use him. You still get 93 zone out of the deal. Same That's height. really what you're buying. He's <laughs> still just as tall. All right. Yeah, not, yeah. To, not to, like, skip Bayless and play contrarian, but I love it. I was kind of bummed by the hit power. If he was 90 speed... He's 90 speed. We yeah. need one more big George Aloka week yeah. to get him into the 90 speed because yeah. we were we were talking about it uh, this weekend when we saw that he had the uh, did he have the pick six or what he, he had a pick yeah and we were talking about how he played in the game we're like if, you know he's 86 speed he, if he gets an item he's gonna get into the 88 and yeah. closer to the 90 range if he gets yeah. the 90 it kind of then becomes a, a a bigger story here that this could be one of the better user guys in the game he he already is one of the best and in play now his 90 ish zone is super super elite. I mean, you got Norman. You got yep. you got some yep. dudes. Got some bros. They're they're a little more, but you got guys that get you above the ninety six zone. So, Qu I'd still play the Quinn over him because he can just be organic. All yeah. right. Possibly Honey Badger. All right. Next up on our list, guys, for our team of the week reviews, we have Sammy Watkins, Sammy. eighty six overall Ooh, wide Sammy. receiver, twenty five thousand coins on the Xbox One auction house. Some of his stats here, 92 speed, 96 agility, 93 spectacular catch, 82 route running, Oof. 87 ODL. catch in traffic. It must be a rookie or something. So, Farls, you're telling me that for 25,000 coins, you already don't like you already don't like him? No, I really don't like this new Watkins. What concerns me is the route running, uh, which is fine because he's very elusive. That's kind of his underrated stat is 94 elusive. 94, yeah. But the problem with that is means okay he's gonna be good in, on drags and streaks but yep, he has ninety but he has ninety two speed so who's he gonna outrun nobody right. um, catch him through a zone spec is decent maybe, he's six one he's not super expensive he's decently balanced but there's just so many receivers that 
he's too balanced. He's got a 92 speed, a too 93 balanced. spec, a 90 release, a 92. I'd rather just see him have like 96 speed. Give him 65 route I'd running. I'd rather see him. Ha- yeah, I'd rather right, see yeah, him yeah. have 65 route running and get a couple more points in the catching traffic or some. I'm out. I'm out on the Watkins. There's too many other good players at receiver. Let me try and take a quick look and see who else uh, we might recommend in this area. But I think even like the the James Jones we saw last week, you yeah, know, with that route running and that release, something. right? Like right. At least he does bread and something. Butter. Yep. Right. Yeah, you know. So. And, and the thing I think that might disappoint people the most is when you think Sammy Watkins, like you immediately like, oh, he's wicked fast. Yeah. Oh, oh wicked yeah. fast guy, do a bro head yeah. kid, right? right? <laughs> but he's only 92 speed, so now like you're immediately let down, and you're gonna, you want him to play up to that like 95 speed yep. range. That you think that he he has correct. So but team, he doesn't. Team Louis Galshon four points slower, but better in most of the yep, four absolutely. big receiving categories. If Watkins was 95, this is a huge gap, but you know. It's just not there for me. I'd rather have the Jeffrey right there. I want to look yeah. at that, that lineup. The other thing I would think when Sammy Watkins, I'm thinking he's a tall, big body receiver. He's only six one. He's yeah. not. He's Aust- not. Austin's know? a guy you drag and use his elusive instead of the Watkins. At least he's got. They have similar route running. He's not going to release. That's, that's the get Tavon on Austin ta- yep. team of the week. Tavon Austin team of the week. Get him instead of the Watkins if that's what you want to do with the Watkins. Um, the Cooper reward still probably better as well. Uh, a little faster. Well, you got, catching you got traffic options. gives him a job, right? Like, you're going right. to yeah. hit him in traffic. He's got a specialty. Got one you know job. what I mean? All right, right guys, yeah. stamp of approval time on this Sammy Watkins. 86 overall, team of the week wide receiver, going for 25,000 coins right now on the auction house. Farls? Only if you're, like, an 83 overall. Guru? Uh, he's not making the Guru team, but I would take him still over Justin Gilbert in our draft two years ago for the Cleveland Browns. Oh, how do you feel about last night? Uh, it was rough, man. No, was that's rough. that's the microphone. That's uh, a oh, microphone. Oh, God, I thought it was the fist bump. <laughs> like, I feel you. No, you don't can feel you, me. You're a Patriots you take fan. The mic, you have no idea what it's like. Can you take the mic and hand it back to him and ask him how he feels about <laughs> Sunday night? Oh. Oh. Yeah, probably. Can we do that? Well, see, I was ah. expecting mine. Good right? one. So, and yeah. He, uh, how do you expect an Osweiler? I can't believe they know? cut they cut the punt returner guy for the Pats already. Everyone on Twitter, Chris Hunter, yeah. Everyone on Twitter, gone. everyone on Twitter when he dropped the punt was like Pats. You under you under guy. you understand that they lo- I mean they lost the game for a lot of reasons, but you get we'll the ball back. The officials, from what for, I heard from the Boston, I'm not really media. concerned with that. But I'm they had opportunities to finish the game. But when you're up 14, 1450 left to go in the fourth, so the whole fourth quarter. It was up, the refs. Coleman. That's it. Same with the Browns game, too. The government name, man. Sorry, man. I mean, hoop God. Hoop God. <laughs> Mr. God. So, uh, again, back to that, right? So, you're up 14, you get the ball, and you could put the game away there with a, with a, a four-minute drive, maybe even just get a field goal, maybe just punt it. It changed the momentum there. They got a big stop. They, they fumbled the turnover. That was the only way they are getting back in the game. Is this a therapy session? Or a yes, it's a therapy yes, session. Do I need to get it's off the couch? therapy session. You can, lay, you can lay down here. We'll get a clipboard. All right, so... Fine. Back to the, the cast itself. Guys, ah. uh, everyone in the chat, we appreciate you guys hanging in here. Guys at home watching on uh, YouTube or if you're listening to uh, on iTunes, we appreciate you guys. Make sure you give us a review if you're on iTunes. Follow the channel here on Twitch and subscribe on YouTube. All the guys in the chat right now, we got J.O., we got 2K Clutch, Blaze John, K. Carter, ABNZ's Finest, Hank Blue. See you, Brett Q-Heat. Weir. Brett Weir's in here with some Inside Cleveland all, info. Hit me up with that later, please. All the dudes. So uh, we're going to get into our last uh, Team of the Week item review, and then we'll get into our questions, and then the Bad Beat Story of the Week, and then we'll Go. wrap it up with uh, details on the giveaway of the Night Train Lane again, yep, and then we'll, we'll, we'll call the day. Cool. Here we are, boys. Next item to review. 87 overall tight end Julius Thomas, 27,000 coins, 87 speed, 90 route running, 90 catch and traffic, 90 or 65 run block. What do you think about this guy? Huge fan of the Julius Thomas. So it took me a while to come around on Julius Thomas's 85 elite. Have you ever had a real orange Julius? Let's ask you that. First. At the mall? Yeah, at right the mall. The Christmas orange shopping? Julius, do you remember that? Come on, fill man. up, fill up. Boardwalk fries and orange Julius. I mean, come on. <laughs> could, could never afford orange Julius growing up, yeah. but at Hagen Dazs, in the Native Collection, they had sodas for sixty nine cents, sixty seven cents for a large soda. You think you're getting? In the food you court. think you're getting a deal when anytime you get a soda for sixty nine cents? But like long term, terrible. Not, not a good option for I was like 14, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15
just get sugar high, walk around the mall, cause havoc. Right. Yeah. Those were the days. Wow. Glory days. <laughs> also, Manchu Walk, shout out, free chicken on Manchu a stick. Manchu Walk. So good. Oh, absolutely. So good. Man. Uh, can I get two meats? No, sir. Rice and noodles. It's like Chipotle. I have the same problem with Manchu Walk that I have at Chipotle. Chinese food at the mall. Like, Chipotle's pretty good. I'm like, yo, I want two meats. And they're like, you could have, ri- you could have rice and noodle. Pay up for double meat. And I'm like, but I was 10. I had five dollars. That's it. No, no. But right. now you're you're 30. How old are you now? You're 30, 29. How? Who's Pay for you double, do the double meat now. Meat at, yeah, Chipotle. You go all out. Now. Oh, always. No, no, no. Like, you, no beans, no rice. No, no, no. no. You all like. Here's my pro- the problem is like you go to get the burrito and you're like, oh, I'm gonna see how much they give me. But they have that one same spoon every single time. It's yeah. always the same amount. So every time you're always like, yeah, double meat. Thanks. Thank but, you. But like you're yeah. like you have you hope. Scoop, like, you have hope that the first scoop is gonna be like a mountain <laughs> of like steak, and then they like, they do the thing like this. Like they pick it up, scoop it up, and then they shake it like this, yeah. and then like get to get the juices out, and then meat falls, falls off. off the top. It's like an so avalanche. The official scoop. No. It's avalanche of meat. And but I bet the guy who designed Manchu Walk probably designed Chipotle. Same, same scoops. Three to one chance. Same scoops. Three to one chance. Anyway, All right. back to Julius. All right, so Orange Julius, eighty-five. People kept having them in their lineup, and they would kept sending me mutt reviews, and I was like, eh, eh. <laughs> 89 route running on his base. This guy gets 90. That ties him with Jordan Reed for non-Tony Gonzalez level right. route running as pretty much like, you know, top three in the tight end position. Pretty fast for his height. He's got really good spec. He's six foot five. Very, very big fan. If you can't afford him, go with the team of the week, Eifert. But he doesn't have the route running. So for tight ends, I recommend you have three tight ends. One that's tall with spec, one that's powerful with run block, very inexpensive, and then one that's kind of more balanced. Um, Thomas is your route running guy. That's what he does. That's what he does well. You can still get the 85 one for super cheap if, if you can't afford this one, and you'll only lose one route running to 89. So this helps every level of player because it drops down to probably the price of his initial yep. for if you have a really lower rated team. Guru? See, I guess that's that's my story too, is that I haven't used this one yet, but I did use the original Julius Thomas at launch and used him for a long time actually and and found really good luck with him. I compared him and uh, uh, Jimmy Graham, the, the base elites, and had much better luck with the Julius Thomas. Yeah. So if, if his, you know, attributes are staying true, which it looks like they're not, you know, it's a nice little bump up from the original, I, I expect him to work some of the same magic he did for me when I was It's not really launch. a Jimmy Graham game this yeah. year. Yeah, uh, no, it's not. For 27,000 coins, I would say the stamp of approval here for all of us is a yes with what he brings to the table. He's got those high-end stats that you want. Uh, he's going to be a player that can catch in traffic. He can run routes. He's got some pretty good speed. For 27,000 coins, he's a must-have at yeah. this point. You're going to sell him out in the even, one game. Even if you have yeah, a even if you have a 90-plus overall team, like he could still fit in in a two-tight end, three-tight end set for your yep. team most likely. This is the guy that is going to have a, a good run on your squad no matter what your overall is for quite a while in Mutt 16. So uh, stamp of approval is yes on the Julius Thomas. Uh, and now we're going to start talking about some questions here, guys. As a reminder, uh, you can send your questions over to any of us on Twitter. Uh, you can see the right panel here, uh, at Escape 7 that's me, at Maguru. We have the wrong Twitter for Farls. He's actually at Madden Bible and at RG underscore Madden. You can also tweet. Um, well, you just met him the yeah, other day, right. so you wouldn't know. That's, that's right. Twitter, you so. can also tweet uh, at EA Sport, EA, or at EA Sports Mutt, underscore, underscore Mutt, Mutt yeah. uh, using the hashtag MuttCast, and we'll take your questions. Any questions you have about Team of the Week items, you could have questions about completing sets, strategy, and tips. Send it using the, the hashtag Mutt cast and then hopefully you could have your question answered on the show next week uh, and we appreciate you guys tuning in but let's get into the first question we have this week this. as we switch over here uh, to this camera uh, we have a question coming from can't stop me 19 should I use night train lane at safety that way I can use him over the middle of the field and take advantage of his 95 speed and 99 hit power as we touched on a little bit, I am a strict do not run your players out of position guy. I don't like losing their style. I don't like the overall decrease. I don't like the awareness decrease. I have broken my rule with this Dick Lane. Put him at strong safety. His overall goes up to a 98 overall. He's got enough zone coverage, enough hit power to run that position. And in my opinion, the best strong safety in the game right now over Signature Reed, over BCA, um, over BCA, Barry. Is that because Ed Reed's a Raven? There, man. 
Uh, no, actually, I love I love me some Ed Reed at safety. All the way back to Golden Ticket, Playoff Ed Reed, Mud Eleven. You could do anything with that card. So I've I've always had an Ed Reed. Given this Ed Reed some legs, and I'm here to tell you, Dick Land does a better job back there than Ed Reed. All right, Farles, what are your thoughts on that? Yeah, I mean he's got 99 zone. You can play him at safety for sure. He's got the hit power. I think there's still a lack of good strong safeties in the game, so. Um, you can definitely play him over the Taylor if that's if you're concerned about Taylor's zone coverage, and then you could drop Taylor in the box and use her because he has 99 hit power. So, yeah, he'll be great at safety if that's what you want to do him. I think it's a good idea to use him just because I think there's better corners you can get uh, available. And as you're saying, that's not that many great strong safeties. So if you have the coin, got get the night train. Might be a really good option. As Guru was saying earlier, he's going to go up to a 98 at strong safety. Yep. So you're not really losing anything there. Um, a dearth. There's a dearth of great strong safeties. There is. There is. I, you, you bring one big word a week to the show. You, I, I need you to keep bringing one big word a week. You got it. Uh, Tertiary. So we'll go Tertiary to our, is last week's word. That's right. You remember that. I, I, like I've, I've used it the like beard twice is this strong. week. The beard is strong. Things get trapped in the beard. Uh, so our next Especially question, as a reminder, guys, you can tweet us using the hashtag MuttCast to get your question potentially on the show next week. This question is coming in from Into the Basket. What's the deal with Keekly? 85 zone coverage seems low. Should I really be going for him for 300,000 coins? We talked about this a little bit earlier. Yep. We kind of that was one thing we were concerned about with him was, or at least my concerns with 85 zone coverage. Is this a valid, valid question, valid point? Zone coverage in linebackers is a different rating than with CVs. So you're not going to get spec caught on or aggressive caught on over the middle of the field where Luke Keekly is going to stand and hook. So, I swear he does sometimes, though, man, with that 6'3". Yeah, I swear he gets no, that. No, 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 I'm saying, like, I'm saying, like, if you're one-on-one -on, -one on the outside with, yep. with Lane and they throw an aggressive <clears throat> catch to Odell, you're going to get the 99 against the 102 spec, and you're going to yep. get something. Right. If they throw, like, a slant across the middle and Keekley's in a hook zone, he's either going to knock out the pass. He's not going to, like, get into a one-on-one -on -one mm. catch animation. Yeah, so right. you're never really yeah. going to play that zone rating. I think the play rec... And then how quick he reacts in zone is the more important. And 85 is pretty high for like that style of breaking. Guru, thoughts? You know, I, I think, like I said, that's Keekly's one of those guys that as a mutt vet, I always am going to go out and get. I'm yeah. just, I'm just always have. I've always had good luck with him. So, you know, I think he's, he's going to go down. Okay. So just store, you know, story of the day is if you can wait. His, his price will probably go down, and you can pick him up at a later If you rate. truly want all-out zone coverage, just get Lamonte David. Done. For yeah, absolutely. Points. All right. That's but he's not as balanced. All right. Next question. Again, make sure you submit your questions using the hashtag MuttCast. Guys on YouTube, you can do that as well. Put it in the comments below. If you're on iTunes, maybe you think it, and it'll happen. I'm not tweet sure. Us. But you got to come and tweet it to us, or you can comment on the YouTube video. Uh, but the third question comes in from Flying Dots 1990. Is the 88 Mariota better quarterback than the 90 team of the week Wilson? On paper, Mariota loses to Wilson with throw accuracy deep and play action. Is that enough to make you go for Wilson? So I, I was looking at the stats for that throw accuracy deep. It's about five less. Yep. And then the play action is actually about like 12 less. So I think his question is like, okay, 12 play action a lot tw is a lot less. Does that now make the Wilson... Like better than the Mariota, then you guys start thinking about the coins here now. What do you guys think? Yeah, I mean, not thinking about coins. Sure, he's probably a little bit better, but like I said, that not having 90 at either short or deep on the Russell Wilson kills it. So Mariota's way better short. Yes, he doesn't stack up deep, but it's not like Russell's 92 deep. Yep. You know, he's still in the 80s. So. No, not that important. Like you were saying, there's a lot of safeties out there right now, so I think that it depends on your game. You know, if you're looking for, if you're against guys that have high play rec and aren't going to bite on your play action, that play action isn't going to be as important to you. So if you're more of a short game guy, that, that play action is not going to be so important. That deep throw is not going to be so important. But if you're constantly, you know, running the rock, setting up your play action to where you want to hit somebody deep, then maybe you want to go for the, uh, the more of the play action. Plus, Russell has 94 throw power. So, like, how much can you really throw deep with that? I mean, that's that's decent, yeah. But that's not a it's not a hose. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm gonna say, I don't want to say avoid Russell because that's not the right term. It's wait for his price to drop, and you can get better value right now with uh, really from the 85 or the 88 Mariota. 
Right. So it, and, it, and it really just comes down to coins. If you're going to look at it and say, if Russell was 80K and Mariota was 80K, you would really then can kind of consider, you know, maybe the Russell might be better than what this Mariota is bringing to the table. And it definitely depends what you want to do as well. Right. God, that Mariota is so OP. I it's wonder really who good. makes those items. It's a really nice item. It might be a Titans fan. Really, I don't know. Really nice item. So... Uh, our next question, again, another reminder, guys, you can submit your questions using the hashtag MuttCast. We'll answer your questions potentially on the show next week. Uh, question comes from Under the Mutt Sun. I can't score in the red zone. Running the ball is really the only way I seem to have any success. Got any easy to learn, use passing plays? Easy, we all live easy, under the Mutt Sun, first of all. <laughs> easy to learn slash use passing plays. Charles? So I've been going down to screen passes in the red zone. It's the most basic, like, stupid thing possible, but it's actually been working. Um, it's tough to score in the red zone. It is. Much, yeah, it's pretty challenging. Um, fullback dives, got to run one, just because then your opponent, anytime you come out in an I-form set, gets pretty concerned, and they have to do certain things to stop the fullback dive that open up the edges. That's, that's the key there, I think, yeah. is they have to do something specific to really stop it. So if you're at the eight-yard line, you want to run a fullback dive, you're probably going to get to the four-yard line, generally is what's going to happen then the world's kind of your oyster you can because you can you can't scramble with the quarterback from like the six or out because you'll get hit by somebody in a zone so but if you're four yards and in then you can actually scramble and get to get the end zone before, before you get, get crushed yeah. so you yeah. want to try and always get down inside the five in time within the 10 fullback dive starts that then they've got to do this then you can uh throw the screen if you want or try and scramble in yeah i mean i was i'm going to say that you hit one of the plays as a screen. Uh, pick any play in the game. Put a guy in a drag. That's going to be an option. I mean, it's a simple option. Is it going to get in every time? No, but it's going to give you a route underneath that you could potentially catch it and rack up field. Uh, and any any route out of the backfield. So whether it's like a you, you do a, a streak, a halfback angle. Streak to the angle is the one. That was your play last year. Yeah. Wasn't it? That was your go to last Texas. year. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Angle route from the halfback very good. People will suspect that, but I definitely like if you're. 10 yards and out, the streak to the halfback, yep. and have somebody like clear out the zone. Like yeah. have, a, have receiver kind of clear out the zone, and then when he comes out of the, the backfield, he cuts I, on the streak, hit him. I would say in general, look through your playbooks by concept and look through Texas. Because yeah. Texas is going to give you those angle plays. I mean, I, for one, for example, I know a lot of people will probably talk about strong, close, wide trail. That's a great play that you can use. Uh, you're going to have some success with. Guru, anything top of mind for you? Yeah, um, you know, I'm, uh, there's a lot of fullback dive out there <clears> this year. Uh, so I like to pound the rock right up the middle and then give him the fake fullback toss. All right. Yeah. There right it outside. Is. The, right That's outside. Nice. Saw a problem, use that. Saw Z Farrell's use that. It's a yeah. great little play. Fullback, fake, halfback toss. Think about it. Um, so that's our last question, though, but we do have our bad beat story of the week. Can I? Yeah. This I is have one. You have one? We'll I let you share too. yours after. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So this is coming from Carrington Rex. Uh, so Karen, That's an interesting name, Carrington Rex. Uh, so Carrington says, I'm losing 21 to 20. I'm in field goal range with my football outsider's 99 kick power, McManus. Mm-hmm. About 40 seconds remain in the clock, and it's third down. My opponent has no timeouts. I had been outmatched all game and made the executive decision to shorten the game by running the ball and using two clock. On third down, I came out and QB Neal to take it to fourth down. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling great. I come out in fourth down to kick the field goal, and just as the feelings of greatness came to me, they left me just as quick as time expired. I forgot to take two clock off, and I burned too much time off the clock to kick the field goal. Here's to never using chew clock again. Thanks, guys. Love the show. That's that's that's, that's, that's like that's happened. deep. That's definitely happening. Who God thinks that's deep? That's yeah, so yeah, that's a tough one. If you do chew clock, I think it goes to three seconds. So you gotta be ready to kick it super fast. Yeah. But yeah, definitely want to make sure you turn that off. I have a similar field goal uh, issue. So I'm playing a game. Uh. Starting get quarterback gets hurt, so I'm using my third string quarterback. Somebody like Joe Webb, worse, terrible, terrible guy. You can't win a game with a, a punter. Minute 47 left, I throw a touchdown pass, I tie did. the game. So even played deep DC, ball, bro? 60 something yard touchdown catch with my emergency QB. Get the ball back. Uh, lining up, there's like three seconds left in the game. I'm about to kick like a 50 yarder for the bread. Kick gets blocked. Will Hill picks it up. 
runs it back 64 yards as time expires. Kick six. I lose the game. This is not a bad beat story. This is what happened last night to the Cleveland Browns on Monday Night Football. No, no. That was a bad beat story I was like, this in so real familiar. life. That was literally I was like, a bad this beat. Sounds so I was like, familiar, I was like, wait, man. I was like, when you said Will Hill, I was like, I, you're li- now you're now you're fibbing. It's official. I hate yeah. it. Pick six. Yeah, wow. that's tough. Kick six. Kick Excuse six. Me. Guys, as a reminder as well, from? where is he from? The Florida Gators. From the Gators. Florida Gators. Uh, guys, I, I can't believe you. We that. will Sorry. get we will get the email set up this week for you guys to send your bad beats. Right now, I've just been having people send in my personal email, but we'll get it up. We'll probably be like bad beats or something. At I was email. so interested something in like that. that story. Yeah. I was so inter- I was on the t- I was on the edge of my seat. Yeah, I edge was. of the edge of the seat. But uh, and then I fell right off. Thanks. That's that's Thanks. tough. Uh, but guys, yeah, make sure you can send your questions. That's important to us so we can get questions and answered for you on the show. Each week, we're going to do the Team of the Week reviews and one of the past legends from the weekend. Uh, and then if anything else comes up, if new flashbacks, new anything, whatever new comes up, we'll yep. obviously talk about it. Yep. Before we Man go, Challenge news as well coming up. Mean Joe uh, Green well. over J.J. Watt, yes or no? No. 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 He's close, but not quite. He's close, but he not can't, quite. He can't even catch, bro. Mean so Joe true. can't even catch. True. So, guys, as a reminder, you can follow the channel here if you're on Twitch. If you're on uh, YouTube, subscribe to the channel. iTunes, when it's up, we'll let you know through our uh, main channels on Twitter and through our personal channels. Uh, five-star reviews, we'll read those off. It, only if you love the show, but we'll read those on iTunes once they come. Uh, and, Maybe we'll uh, do some mean reviews. Too. I'll, Maybe read the, we could, I'll read the one-stars. We could do the mean reviews? Yeah, yeah it'd be pretty good. But uh, we really appreciate you guys. We have a lot of fun doing this. Uh, we're going to be back next Tuesday, 11 a.m. Eastern, on twitch.tv slash EA Sports. So come and check the show out. Uh, and as always, guys, we appreciate you. Any parting words, guys? A hey, big shout-out to the chat. Hey, just, guys, we want to do this for you. I yeah, hope you we'll, like it. Please share yeah. us, uh, like us, share us, follow us, all the good stuff. All right, guys, we'll see you guys next week no, for the good. next show. And as uh, we, need a, we need a way to close it, like... You always say, I "Stay hungry." Like, what right. do we say? I do. I do the. I do the good old, you know, bow. I, I do the lock up. We do the lock up. But anyways, we'll see you guys next week. Uh, stay hungry or something. I don't know. Something. See ya. Dudes, we're still here. We gotta do, here? dudes. We gotta do the giveaway. <laughs> oh my, yeah, I totally thank you for my, yeah. We gotta do Everybody the giveaway. Everybody on the chat's like, yo. We, yo, we gotta do the giveaway. What up? Yeah. We stayed this whole time. <laughs> we gotta do the giveaway. Okay, so, Guru, the giveaway details again? All right, so we gotta mean, uh, so we gotta mean, we gotta, we gotta night we'll, train we'll, lane we'll, up we'll, on the trade block. We'll, we'll, do it, we'll do it from your account. We'll, okay. 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 So, we'll do it there, but that's what it is. Put them on the trade block for your account. Yep, that's correct. So, I'm um, trying to think how you're gonna be able to find him here. Um... Put them up for three hours, eleven minutes. Well, three no, we're days, gonna put them up. We're gonna put them up for. Let's put them up for eight hours. Eight hours on the button. We'll put them up for night train lane. Offer a Johnny Manziel, and at six p.m. tonight, we'll accept a random trade offer. Because we're gonna give Johnny some what, value. What, what Johnny Manziel? Auction house tonight. Silver. Uh, silver one. Silver. So okay. eight hours starting at eleven fifty eight. Yep. So I'll run over and do that right now, so you guys can start so, uh, offering. Yeah. Uh, there, there's you said silver Manzel. There's no silver Manzel. I'm, I'm sorry, base Manzel. Base Manzel. The, the base base Manzel. The base Manzel. Put them up, eight six p.m. Eastern tonight. <laughs> Guru will select a random person. Someone's gonna win the item. Yep. Um, we appreciate tweet you guys watching us, the show. Tweet at us all if you get it. And uh, the more you guys come and watch, the more giveaways we'll do like this as well to help support the show. We appreciate it. This time we'll really go. This time we'll really end the show. See you, dudes. <laughs>